What if I told you if you took something away, you'd actually be giving the greatest gift of all time? I'm talking about you out there, you Valentine vanities, you yoga hairs don't cares. This video is for all of you. And guess what? We have data to prove that the no makeup method is actually the most effective one. It means you get the most conversion. Now, we don't mean actual makeup. We mean being authentic, being your true self, and actually not really caring about your appearance. Welcome back to another episode, everybody. I'm Rob. And I'm Ruben. And we are super excited to talk to you today about one of our favorite methods, and it is the... The no makeup method. Did you hear that? The no makeup method. I think that shocks everybody. You think they're getting ready to put their makeup well, on? Well, some people are saying, well, I don't wear makeup anyways. Yeah, and some sure. people are saying, I could never do a video without makeup. <laughs> well, that means they're probably super prepared for this one. Oh, no makeup method? No problem. So that would be totally, totally cool. But what is the no makeup method? So let's talk about that. What's it about? It's about really peeling back the curtain isn't it? That's really what it's about. What we talk about is this idea of being truly authentic, you know, actually saying, this is what I look like. This is what I look like before I comb my hair, before I, well, brushing your teeth doesn't really make a difference, but do what it I gotta would. do. If we're sitting here, it makes a huge difference. That's but yeah, true. For you on this there, show, okay. yes. yes. But for you guys on an asynchronous video, it doesn't really matter. And the idea is just putting yourself out there, just being authentic, not really caring, actually. Now, should we be unprofessional? No, we shouldn't. You know, we should just be authentic. And there's a fundamental difference there. What is our favorite phrase? The personal is the professional. That's the reality that we're living in today. And I think it's really, it frees us up in a lot of ways. And that's what you've got to remember with this no makeup method. It is a freeing thing for you. It's not holding you back. It's actually letting you be free. Another thing that's also really important is that when you give people that BTS, that behind the scenes experience, they feel like they can trust you. There's no veil. There's nothing that you're hiding behind. And that's a fundamentally important thing when you're building trust with people. So don't hide when you're building trust. That's it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I love virtual backgrounds just like the next guy. Wait, wait, but wait, should we tell them this is virtual? <laughs> is this look good, guys? Okay, it's not virtual. But the reality is that why do we have virtual backgrounds? Probably because we have dirty laundry behind us. <laughs> that's actually on the floor. You can't see it. It's right over there. Yeah, totally good. you know, we have our mess too. Don't get us wrong. I mean, we had to hide a lot of stuff behind this video and all these cameras. But at the same point, you know, we want you to know that there's stuff, there's tech, there's things that are happening. I mean, just take a look at all these screens, all these cameras. We're trying to show you, we're trying to bring you into our world and not just show you that everything's perfect here. And it's really about bringing only the essential. Because what Ruben just said about, we have everything behind here, all the setup and everything, but what are we doing? We're focusing on the camera and we're bringing our message directly to you. So the no makeup method is really about that. It's bringing the essential. Keep that in mind when you're getting ready to speak to someone about what your product or service is or what your message is. Right? I think also about this idea of vanity is just, it's a part of being a human being, right? No, it's also a sin. It's also a sin. <laughs> it's a part of being a human being. And we all do that. I comb my hair this morning. You know, I did my stuff. I feel good. My shirt's, you know, not wrinkly. I'm here. I'm present. But at the same time, there's this idea of when we don't take care of our vanity, when we don't do the things that we need to do, that we actually feel insecure. We feel right. uncomfortable. Right. You hear right. that all the time. Right. I'm not wearing my makeup. I didn't comb my hair. I didn't do what I got to do before I shoot this video. Now, again, we're not talking about being unprofessional, but isn't it liberating to say, you know what? Yoga hair don't care. This is me. This is what I look like. Take it or leave it. You know, I don't always need to look perfect. And the benefit, of course, is that you build that trust. And that's one of the main reasons. A lot of these methods and strategies we talk about here on Rev Show, one of the big questions we ask is why use this no makeup method? And for us, it's really three things. It comes down to simplicity, it comes down to connection, and it comes down to trust. Mm -hmm. Those are three big things. But let's hit simplicity first. Why is no makeup the simplest way to go? And why is simplicity one of the best ways to message? What do you think? Removing unnecessary components from basically anything on the planet is an essential part of simplicity. You know, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, yeah, right? So, <laughs> you know, simplicity is such an important part of this. You know, Bruce Lee talks about this. I always mention this. You love Bruce Lee. I always talk about this because his philosophy, you know, he was a philosopher. He was a modern day philosopher. And his simplicity talks about removing anything that's unnecessary. If it doesn't really drive the plot, drive the story, add value, why have it? What's the purpose of it? You know? So a lot of that stuff is in fact vanity. And when you have that simplicity, it creates one of the most honest forms of connection there is. Because think about how vulnerable you're being when you're speaking to camera. It is the most simplest form yeah. of being honest. You're trying to convey your message to someone. And one of the most powerful ways to do this is to strip everything else away. Keep it simple. Stay connected. 
And when you do those two things, trust will naturally build. Well, what do they really want? They really want to have trust. They really want to have a connection. They really want to meet someone that they can say, you know what, I want to work with this person on a long-term basis. I want to work with this company. You want to start a relationship. That's it. And when you take out all the unnecessary things, when you take out the vanity, what happens is the connection takes place. You know, It's like when you have a guest that stays over at your house and then you meet up in the morning and you have coffee. Like Darius stayed at my place. Yep recently. So we woke up, we all met in the kitchen. And what did we do? We had coffee. It was a bonding moment. Why? Because none of us actually cared about our appearance. Our hair was all over the place, especially Darius's. You know, (laughs) we're wearing our our funny shirts and our pajamas and stuff. We're just being honest and we're being ourselves, you know? What's the simplicity of the coffee cups, the setting, just you being yourself? That's really about being simple. Yeah. A lot of corporate environments, they're not going to endorse this. They're not saying you should have your hair in a bun and you should just be, you know, in your PJs with your knees up. They're not going to endorse that. And that's okay. It's about being yourself though. Like what are you like when you meet a friend? What are you like when you meet someone at the hotel lobby, you know, at 8 or 9 p.m. or 6 o'clock in the morning when you're just yourself and you're not kind of like dolled up? And that's really what we're talking about. We have so much data to show Mm -hmm. that that's what builds connection. And the thing is too, like if you're in the corporate environment, one of the main things to remember is I think corporations are much more aware today than they ever have been in terms of individuality and identity of people that are working for them. If not, they should be. Yeah. And what they can do is you can play, like if you're a member of a corporate team, it doesn't take too long to find out, okay, what are your branding guidelines? What's kind of the guardrails that you have to play with? Because once you identify those, then you can really kind of become yourself from within those guidelines. So reach out to your team members, reach out to your manager, reach out to leadership and say, this is how you're thinking about expressing yourself. And they'll tell you right away what the branding guidelines are. So it doesn't take a lot of work to find that out. Yeah. And I think also when you start to get traction and when you start to, let's say, put your LinkedIn videos out there, put your YouTube videos out there, put your dub videos out there and you start to get a response and people say, I really appreciate the video that you just sent. It was so authentic. It was so honest. Thank you so much. When can we meet? I would like to work with you. When you start to get those results, all of a sudden the world opens up for you. You know, if you have a boss, if you have, you know, corporate leadership, if you have someone that's in charge of brand guidelines, all of a sudden they start to open their minds up and their fears and their sort of vanity requirements Mm -hmm. start to dissipate as well. Because after all, Rob says it best. Mm -hmm. Personal is the new professional. Totally is. I mean, it completely is. Look at even like the ads today on commercials. It's less stuffy and corporate than it's ever been. It's almost like selfie commercials now pretty much, right? It's more about what are you saying to your audience and how authentic are you Mm -hmm. saying it? See, our biggest thing with these methods and strategies is, especially with this one with the no makeup method, we're basically, when we're doing the no makeup method, we're basically giving the other person what they really want subliminally. Like they may not realize it, but they want authenticity. They want us to get to the point. They want us to talk like them, like like they're a real human being. They don't want to rehearse script. And when you actually go ahead and you just get yourself in a tie or whatever you're doing to really make yourself up, you're taking away the authenticity of who you really are. And that's what they want. So you're actually delivering this with the no makeup method. You're delivering what they actually want, right? When we think about this idea of makeup, we think about makeup as a product, but we also think about what you are making up. You know, what is the environment? What is the story that you are making up? Now, if it's you and it's authentic, that's you. It's all good. But if you're making up a story and you're making something up, people might not necessarily connect to that. They might not gravitate towards that. It might not be as authentic as you deserve to come off. And and that's something we talk about a lot. A lot of this is about self-confidence. A lot of this is about bringing your best self, what you have on the inside, being able to project it out. And that takes practice. None of this stuff happens without repetition. None of it. No. I mean, think about it when you're standing in front of your mirror and you're practicing your lines for whatever you have to do, or you're just talking to yourself. I mean, we do it all the time. I talk to myself in the mirror. You're like, hey, what am I going to do today? The difference here is in a mirror, you can see yourself. When you're looking into the camera right here, who should you be looking at? The person you're going to be speaking with. And that's what you've got to think about. So insecurities, that really helps to get them out the window when you realize it's not about me and how I look. It's about that other person that I'm speaking with. And that's a good focus. And when you do those things, we love the letter C here at at, uh, Dub. We talk about connections, conversations, conversions, but the two C's that are important with the no makeup method are clarity and comfort. Mm -hmm. And you get that when you strip away that veil, right? Yeah, and I'll add one more, confidence. Yes. Yes, that's actually the most important. Thing. Yeah. How do you apply this? Yeah. Well, oh, did you just make a joke right there? How do we apply the no How do we apply method? the new method? No, oh, man, you just broke the fourth makeup wall. <laughs> you really did. I for me, it's about okay. making a promise to yourself. It's about loving yourself. Yes. You know, to get soft, it's about loving yourself. 
if you love yourself, you can put yourself out there in any state that you want, you know? And what you're gonna get as a benefit of this is you're going to get more connections, mm -hmm. more trust, more conversations, and ultimately you are going to increase your sales. Folks, we have seen this before. We have thousands and thousands of examples of this where people record videos yeah. where they're just authentic. They are absolutely themselves. Paige Batcher talks about this a lot. She's and, amazing at that. Yeah, She did a video related to that. She talks about it. I think the most incredible thing is that I've made and generated tens of thousands of dollars from videos that I recorded in one take with no makeup, didn't think I was gonna even make a video that day, made it, linked it, boom. And then realized, oh my gosh, People don't care for it to be pretty or perfect. They just want to know if you can help them and then they want to take the next step. The funny thing is that the stories that we hear are that the best converting videos are the ones that people just grab their camera, they grab their phone, they recorded the video, they were out on a walk, they were with their kids, making coffee, cooking food, mm -hmm. they recorded a video and someone said, thanks for letting me into your world. Right. We had this, I had a conversation with this wonderful dub user and she was talking about these walks that she goes on with her dogs out in the woods. Mm. And we're like, you know, I should do a dub video out there. Yeah. Just send a dub video. And right. she did one, posted it on LinkedIn and it was one of the most authentic yeah. videos. She had great comments and reactions and that's what we're talking about. So if you're listening up sales leaders out there, and you've got a team, encourage this in your team, get them to be authentic, pull back the veil, send those videos that really connect. Right? That's it, you know? Folks, if you like this video, it would mean so much to us if you liked it, left a comment. Put commit, a dub video. Put a dub video in the comments. Yeah, we love that. And uh, don't forget to share it with a friend that could use this content. And thank you for being the best part about our community. Thank you for watching Rev Show. We'll see you next episode. All right, ready? Yeah. Uh, so hit finish? Yeah. Oh, you're recording. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, here we go.